listen, I have something to tell you, and it's too simple to tell it simply. So, 1872, Dostoevsky publishes Basie. 1913, Constant Garnet publishes first English translation as The Possessed. So, precisely within the brackets of the Great War and the Commune, human character changed. A library is more like a palace than it is like a bookstore. A bookstore is more like a hotel. A hotel is only something like a library, but a great deal like a department store. Well, the department store and the high palace are one. Around that time, we were leaving behind realism, and with it, the struggle over the working dead. Once that catastrophe was confirmed, the fighting shifted to the front of consciousness, and then we were finally modern. In the main hall of the century, the decor was a jumble of American wazerie. I've read a lot of thick books and become convinced of only three things. Do not send your army into Afghanistan. The Hindu Kush will swallow them. No matter the circumstance, do not grant emergency powers to anyone. Excuse me, I'm sorry, you're not going to the man. I'm sorry to the bank. I promise to finish, but first an interlude on the romance of the lost manuscript. The passage in Verc and the Théorie de la Spéculation were both left to languish in the National Library of France while everybody was having modernism, and then recovered in the 50s. And each book invented a new capital, one for the 19th century, one for the future of finance. Oh, those banky boys swanning through the age of arbitrage like hookers through the dizzy atrium of the hotel future foretold. And in Sao Paulo, there's a department store without any doors at all. What thoughts I have of you tonight, Fred Jameson. We make our plans among the ruins. ruins of the geopolitical Baroque. At some point, we were all working downtown in bookstores. What a luxury, like Coca-Cola for breakfast. We took turns sitting on the floor behind the back counter reading new arrivals. I remember the Andy Warhol diaries, I remember lipstick traces, I remember all those black pocketbooks from semiotext. Now everyone is super flux. But like credit, we are getting ahead of ourselves. Later it would be translated as the devils or demons, the Russian word basi actually indicating spirits, which may possess a body uninvited but are not themselves possessed. It seemed like a crude mistake had been rectified. To say it is a new era is to say it has discovered a new style of time. We do not do this in language, but in terrain we have not chosen and do not yet understand. Language meets us there and must be cajoled into open air by dangling the old forms in their rack and wreckage. This is the poetic thought. What true act would make every word in the dictionary political? Nina says, book burning. That seems right. And it may be that a people can be judged by how they answer this question, and this too is the poetic thought. L'autre amant, mysterious and extreme romantic, already in 1870 dead in a hotel a few yards from where I stayed last week. Chance of Maldoror, largely unknown, until it was discovered in a bookstore in 1917. Hey Paris, you're beautiful, but you're terrible at keeping track of books. It had been filed in the mathematics section, and finally, this too is the poetic thought. Like credit, the book is unable to be in the same time with itself. Its meanings run ahead while it lingers on a shelf, for its meanings come racing to catch up to the instant when the book is found in some poor agent's hand. And so we are always naming the wayward motion of things en route to realizing themselves, the fate, the itinerary, the defile, the fortune, to have had their time. But is there not a kernel of truth concealed within Garnett's error? If we speak, you and I, of the dispossessed, free and doubly free, to haul their flesh to market? Why would we not call those others within whom moves the spirit of money? Why would we not call these the possessed, green and gold in the springtime, in March and in April and in May, 
especially in March, seize the fucking banks. <laughs>